टू डेवलप ए टूल्स टू डेवलप ए गुड वोकेबलरी टूल्स मीन्स वी कैन से ऑलमोस्ट वी कैन समराइज और वी कैन मेक वेरी एग्जैक्टनेस ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी हैव टू फॉलो टू डेवलप ए गुड वोकेबलरी इट इज नॉट मेनी थिंग फ्यू थिंग्स ओनली लाइक फर्स्ट थिंग इज देयर ओरिजिन we must know about the origin and origin you don't try to give much you can say very much uh, focus to understand the origin just in the form of narratives or stories you learn like i told one small story 55 bc german people attacked on the uh, you can say great britain island they captured and afterward germanic has become their language slowly slowly english has developed this is one story similar way multiple stories there during the se- season i will discuss a uh, lot of a story but so many a story you can say direct it will not helpful due to i will not give much stress second is your root root is their linguistic part what will be their first root words or fragment of words which will cause the word family or you can say one group of words then root is next important first we should know little bit about origin then root and about the root we must know the limitations we should not think in a, like a like a boundless way which root will be there i don't know how it will be there these all only six seven roots are there latin we can represent l throughout the session anywhere if i, I am writing l indication way like root l you just try to understand it is a latin gk means greek gmc germanic eng english skt sanskrit root and fr french sp uh, spanish and if it is not categorized in any of the this then you can say broad family language then it will be ie indo european then these eight roots are there next point is there prefix initial of the words or root like this is come if you are putting here in before then what is happening income income is different meaning come is different meaning what is making difference this part in what is this this is prefix this is called prefix suffix last of the words and root whatever last will be there based on that we can say we can make the different words and that will change the meaning mainly if we are making adjective or adverb from uh, noun or uh, verb then this suffix will make will make the very much changes any of the words if you will take suffix will make the change context of use this is your most important part because that is only challenging and here only mainly cat people cat aspirant are not able to grasp properly because this uh, prefix suffix root they are having limitation if you will just memorized uh, 100 prefix 200 prefix suffix that will sufficient to understand almost uh, you can say uh, 50000 50 50000 70000 words but context of usage are infinite any one word can be used in infinite way infinite way of the sense or infinite way of the narratives then here we have to put much effort then uh, just time uh, i am i am making very concrete points one is the literal meaning like if i am telling any of the words like god or you make the sentence vishnu is a god what is there it is literal meaning vishnu is exact god due to we are telling vishnu is a god next is your figurative meaning means indirect way it is a indirect way like if i am telling or you can write direct gandhi मोहनदास करमचंद गांधी गांधी इज ए महात्मा वट वी आर डूइंग हियर गांधी एक्चुअली वॉज नॉट महात्मा बट वी आर जस्ट यूजिंग इन फिगरेटिव वे इन डायरेक्ट वे और गांधी इज ए गॉड लाइक मीन्स वी आर यूजिंग इन डायरेक्ट वे अबाउट द गांधी बट विष्णु इज ए गॉड इट इज ए डायरेक्ट देन लिटरल मीनिंग फिगरेटिव मीनिंग एवरी वर्ड कैन बी यूज मोस्ट ऑफ द वर्ड वी कैन यूज इन टू डिफरेंट वे वन इज डायरेक्ट मीनिंग वन इज इन डायरेक्ट मीनिंग next is their symbolic form many of the times we will use context of usage in the form of symbols in the form of symbols conjunction interjections after then you can say these all you are much aware these all are the notation symbolic form figures of speech this is again most important you can say literary point of view not for general english for literary point of view figures of speech are 
too much important and generally we are not exposed much i will give you a little bit uh, more idea about the figures of speech next is your idioms next is your phrasal verbs next is your meaning change with respect to time and place this you might be little confused what i have written like same words 200 years before meaning was different after 200 years the same words are using in different context many of the words you will find like that many of the words you will find like that 100 years before context was different now context is to totally different the same words are using in uh, using in a span in different context but same words are using in india in different context then uh, meaning change with respect to time and place then these points you must keep in mind literal meaning figurative meaning symbolic form figures of speech idioms phrasal verbs meaning change